let's meet the visiting team, the Chicago Bulls. At Chewy Bowl, Alex Caruso. At the other bar position, Lonzo Ball. At center, Nikola Vucevic. At small four, Zach Levine. At the other forward position, DeMar DeRozan. The head coach of the visiting team is Billy Dunn. Now, introducing the starters for the Memphis Grizzlies. Number 46, Judge Contour. In the middle, standing six foot eight, number 15, Brandon Tall. At four, six eleven. on 2K Sports NBA action. It's coming up. And tonight, we'll see the Memphis Grizzlies as they go up against the Chicago Bulls. Along with Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson, this is Brian Anderson. And we've got our reporter, Allie LaForce. And checking out some numbers for Lonzo Ball. He's been really dialed in from deep during these last five games. Looking assertive and in control every time he rises up to shoot from beyond the three-point line. And it's been fun to watch. And now the opening lineup for Chicago. We've got Zach Levine. Nikola Vucevic is out there with DeMar DeRozan. And then it's Alex Caruso. And it's Ball in at the point guard position. And for the Grizzlies, Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. John Conchar is out there with Jackson. And it's Clark in at center, filling out the middle. And we move towards the back end of the season, Richard. How much is this part of the year a game of attrition? Oh, nobody is healthy right now. That's just a part of it. That's why depth matters so much. Plus, your mental toughness is tested to a max right now. And always a fan favorite, Richard. Zach Levine. Most everything he does, it seems to have a little bit of flash to it. You know about the bounce. He has a high arcing shot, and he just has a flair for the dramatic and spectacular. First free throw is good. A few teams in the NBA take on the identity of their city. None more than the Memphis Grizzlies. Oh, so true. I mean, grit and grind is a way of life in Memphis. And the team embraces that mantra, playing with a swagger. Both free throws good from Levine. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Jackson, the screen. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to be on Lonzo Ball. You know John Morant, such a dynamic guard. His combination of speed and creativity, that makes for some tough matchups. No good on that one. Right 
And the second free throw is good. Chicago with the ball. Pass to DeRozan. Oh, what a play! It snatched out of the air. Credit to block. Now here's Moran. Conchar outside. Good. And the setup by Moran. And this is part of Moran's role as a guard. He's responsible for finding the open man. Moran against ball. And he lobs it up. Oh, a flawless finish on the lob. Oh, incredible. Save that one. I want to watch it again. Awesome. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Here's Moran. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Levine passes to Ball. DeRozan outside. Outside for Levine. Ball outside. Clock at six. Picked by Vucevic. Let's it fly. Ball no good. Moran against Ball. Clark outside. Outside Moran. Clark in the post. Working on Vucevic. Moran finds Bain. Levine with a steal. Here's DeRozan. That one goes. Now he's one for two. Because he draws so much attention on offense, the D, look, they're going to have problems with Levine, and it opens up some great passing lanes for him. Now here's Moran. We saw him go on a scoring rampage last game. He was unstoppable. Here's Jackson. And that one's long. Slow start. One of four to begin this game. Levine passes to DeRozan. Yeah, that one's good. Tough for a guard to hang in the paint like that, but not DeRozan. And it's Morant with a ball for Memphis. It's a five-point game. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule. Losing to the Knicks. Just a tough road loss. You're going against players who are comfortable shooting in their own building. You have to find a way to disrupt their focus. Well, they weren't fighting through screens, their closeouts and rotations were late. You name it, and let's just say they didn't do it on defense. They get it again. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they want him to take that again. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. Pass to Clark. Outside Bain. Outside Moran. Beyond the arc. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. Moran's got his second bucket of the night. In motion, Moran's shooting ability is solid. But when he's this set up, it's outstanding. Here's Levine. Buries the easy one. Levine's got six. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here's Conchar. Back to Payne. Outside Moran. Five on the clock. Unloads. Payne, no good. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Picked by Vucevic. DeRozan with the ball. He's picked up by Bain. And it's DeRozan missing. Memphis trailing here. Morant looking for an opening. And it's Ja Morant with the foul. That's his first foul of the game. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. We got to see that one again. That block was all-out effort. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. Here's Vucevic. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. DeRozan outside. 
Vucevic, a screen on Jackson. Here's DeRozan. Clark grabs the board. It can be tough to find space in the mid-range area. Probably should have passed that one up. Here's Moran. And again, Memphis no good for Chicago. They've gone four of nine in this one so far. Jackson against Ball. DeRozan outside. Three-pointer, Vucevic. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. The ability to stretch the four is such a dangerous weapon for Vuce and his team. Morant, the pass to Bain. Morant with a screen on Caruso. Bain with it. Picked up by DeRozan. And the basket by Bain. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Chicago leading. Outside Levine, over Clark. And it's off the back of the rim, no good. The Grizzlies shooting around 44% in this opening quarter. Down low. Here's Jackson. That one goes. Now he's one for two. And he's no stranger to contact inside. Love watching Jackson bully his way through aggressive defense. Levine surveys the D. DeRozan for three, and it's good. Credit Levine with the assist. Levine's got three assists tonight. And here's Moran. Six points for him. Levine with a steal. Pass to Caruso. The kick out to Ball from behind the arc. It's rebounded by Memphis. Bain, the pass to Moran. Clark against Vucevic. Clark outside. And taking a look at our 2K leaderboard, the best ball distributors amongst point guards. The fourth spot held by Ja Morant. You know, these are the best playmakers in the NBA, guys. I mean, they're the ones who keep the offense running at full speed. It's fun to watch these guys in action. Their creativity, the vision they have, it's point guard play at its best. Memphis calls timeout. Tillman's checked in for Clark. Aldama comes in for Jaron Jackson Jr. And it's Kennard in for Conchar. So Chicago going with an almost entire new group here. Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Craig comes in for DeRozan. Williams is checked in for Caruso. And it's Desunmu in for Ball. First free throw is good. That one's no good. 
so far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. From about 16, he squares up and sinks it. Levine's got eight. And look, he's showing he's not all strength. Levine with a nice little pull-up. Pass to Tillman. Outside Bain. Let's go with a three. Drummond grabs the miss. For Chicago, they've got seven of 15 to find the net. Outside, Williams. Here's Drummond. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And it's a seven-point Bulls lead. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Oh, swiped away. And they're on the break. Here's Craig. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. This is intelligent basketball. Forcing a turnover and then immediately starting the fast break. To the inside. And the basket by Aldama. Great recognition of the mismatch. Abusing the smaller defender. Poor guy. Pass to Levine. The 17-footer. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's on Desmond Bain. A springing athlete. Everybody knows about Levine and his bounce. He's just hard to check. And look, he was fouled right there. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Bulls. From the very start of this game, they have been giving the ball handlers trouble, using good pressure to force turnovers and get steals. And also, the coaching staff has to love the hustle so far. Just playing with great energy, getting out and converting in transition. Just solid from the line. Levine shoots a high volume and a high percentage from the free throw line. That is the combination you want. Both free throws good from Levine. And Rose has got the ball here for the Grizzlies. They trail by nine. Jackson with a screen on Levine. Rose outside. Pure from three-point range. And at the arc, Rose definitely picks his battles. But when he sees his chance, he knocks it down. Outside Levine. Drummond with the screen. Launches a three. Levine, good. Levine's got 13 now. You want to know why they're winning? It's because of his play offensively. Jackson, the screen, to the middle. It's tipped. It's stolen by Drummond. To the paint. And he lays it up and in. Craig's got his second basket of the game. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Now here's Smart, tightly guarded. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Putting his 6'11 frame to use Jackson. The low, down low. Good luck stopping him. Jackson Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. He's become a dependable scorer. This man, Jaron Jackson Jr., will look. He's averaged double digits over the course of his early career. DeRozan has checked in for Craig. And so Jackson nails both of them. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. Pass to DeRozan. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. And he's very confident from that range, but he can't make them all. Kennard passes to Smart. Smart, a screen on Levine. Here's Rose. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Rose has got five now. Smart play from Rose, getting up close to the basket for a high percentage look. DeRozan, and it's good for two. And the Bulls lead by nine. 
I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. There will be some letdown at some point, but these teams, they are built to score. So. And so it's the Chicago Bulls. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. They've been aggressive in transition and find themselves in front. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. If you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? Simply put, they look totally fearless on the defensive end. Yeah, they're putting pressure on all the ball handlers, getting into the passing lanes and showing great anticipation. Memphis trailing here. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. Levine is the two with DeRozan at the three. Patrick Williams out there with Andre Drummond. And it's Tsumu in at the point guard position. Rose can't connect. Chicago has gone three of four from distance in this game. Pass to DeRozan. Now Levine. Fires from the line. DeRozan getting his feet wet in the paint. And Grant players often looking to exaggerate contact. You like the new idea to call text for flopping? You know, B.A., it's even better than the fines they did in the past and posting it online. I mean, with the tech, now it's hurting you on the court. So if you ask me, it's long overdue. Well, the Bulls shooting 59% in this one. A good average. Pass to DeSumo. And here is DeRozan. It's not going to go for him. Smart with the defensive effort. Rose outside. Jackson, the screen. Puts it up from 15. Oh, and Levine with a block. When you got bounce like Levine, you're always a threat to get your hand on the ball when you contest. The quick look, no good that time. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Pass to Rose. Shoots over Levine. Rose with the bucket. Rose has got seven. Now a timeout called by Chicago. here. White's checked in. The field for the three-point contest is just about set. And no matter what the final list looks like, it's going to be an incredible competition. It just always is. The winner gets to stake claim as best shooter in the world. And that's a title lots of guys in this league really want. Well, you look at Bain. 
He's going to need to move up this list big time to be part of the three-point contest. But he's got a shot. Maybe. Especially if he can get hot from beyond the arc. And he certainly has the ability to do so. And the hype around this year's three-point contest has been tremendous. And it's only increasing as All-Star Weekend gets closer. Yeah, looking at the list now, I think any of these guys could win it. Speaking just as a fan, I can't wait to see what happens. Well, Richard, when you talk about great scores, DeMar DeRozan doesn't always get the credit he deserves. Yeah, he should really get more praise than he does, Brian, especially when you consider how incredible he is from the mid-range. Some bigs develop range over time. Jackson, he's been dropping daggers since day one. On the wing, DeRozan shoots. Here's Drummond. Oh, the jam by Drummond! Get him the ball anywhere close to the hoop, that thing is over. There's the AT&T 5G slam cam, capturing the moment. For Memphis, they've gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Rose against White. And there are the Grizzlies with another bucket. A big strength of Rose. He has spent lots of time on becoming a better shooter, and it shows. to White. That one falls, coming off a drum and feed. And the Bulls lead by 11. Here's Smart, yet to see a basket. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Look, scrappy play has always been a staple for Marcus Smart. He just loves to create contact and get in the fray. Two shots. from falls for him. Look, Marcus Smart is the pulse of the team. He plays with passion and does whatever his team needs from him. Roddy, he's checked in for Memphis. And so Smart nails them both. And Ball will bring it up here for the Chicago Bulls. They'll take on the Magic at Amway Center after this one. It'll be their second game of a four-game road trip. Vucevic, the pass to Williams. Now Vucevic. Shot clock at five. The three from DeRozan. Smart grabs the miss. The Grizzlies have got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Pass to Roddy. Back to Smart. Jackson with a screen on ball. Here's Smart. That one doesn't drop. Oh, great D that time from Craig. For Chicago, they've gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. The kick out to Ball. And here is DeRozan, defended by Kennard. Puts it up from 12. That one rolls around and rims out. Not his best efficiency this quarter. And look, sometimes that's how it goes. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Brian, the Bulls back in 2021, shifting the roster towards a more veteran win-now look. They've pushed their chips into the middle. Now they're trying to find their way into contention. All-star forward DeMar DeRozan said, quote, we've got to go out there and compete. If we want this thing, we have to go after it. Brian? All right, Allie, thank you. Pass to Jackson. Oh, great D that time from Craig. The Bulls have gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. Williams passes to Ball. Kennard against DeRozan. Inside. That's good from Craig. On the assist by DeRozan. Craig's got six. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Memphis has gone 3 of 5 from the perimeter in this game. And Marcus Smart picks up the foul. That's his first foul. All right, here's a look at the schedule for the Memphis Grizzlies. On Saturday, they'll go up against Gordon Hayward and the Charlotte Hornets. And then on Monday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the New Orleans Pelicans. 
When you look ahead, there are a lot of winnable games, but you really can't think that as a player. You have to take every opponent seriously because this is the NBA. No game is a freebie. Clark has checked in for Memphis. Williams comes in for Roddy. Levine, he's checked in for Chicago. Caruso comes in for Craig. Levine against Williams. Levine passes to Vucevic. Good D by Clark. The Grizzlies shooting just around 33% since the second quarter got underway. Smart finds Clark. Jackson outside. Kennard outside. Jackson with a screen on ball. Memphis needs to get off a shot. And the shot's good. He's got nine. A big target with good hands. Jackson doing damage in the pick and roll. Pass to DeRozan. To the paint. Vucevic draws the double. Over to the wing. Pick by Vucevic. Shoots. And Ball gets it to go. Ball's gotten his first bucket of the night. It's clear Ball knows the game. He makes the right play call at the right time to open things up. Pass to Jackson. Three-pointer. That's in. Coming off an assist from Smart. His shot has been one point from the opening tip. He's pretty much kept them in the game. On the wing, Caruso. Now Vucevic. Here's Levine for three. Oh, just dropping it in. Levine. That's a strong response from Levine. You got to D him up from there. Kennard against Caruso. Jackson the screen. Kennard passes to Jackson. Knocks it loose. And they're running. They grab their own miss. And yep, it's good. DeRozan's got 18. And I love how they're working much harder on the glass this quarter and drumming up more second chance time out, time opportunities. Out. Time out call, Memphis. And while we have a second, what rule changes, if any, would you like the NBA to consider, Richard? Well, how about this? Instead of rule changes, I want to talk about something that I want them to keep the same. I want them to keep the same 82-game season. That's the same that Bill Russell played, that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar played. They weren't flying private. They didn't have five trainers. They didn't have all of this technology. And these guys put up outstanding seasons and played 82 games. That was the benchmark, and I think doing that and changing that would mess with history. Entire new group here. Aldama's checked in for Jaron Jackson Jr. Conchar comes in for Williams. Desmond Bain, he's checked in for Kennard. And it's Morant in for Smart. And a change for the Bulls. Williams is checked in. on ball here's Bain now here's Conchar he's covered by Levine just three to shoot Conchar can't hit and ball will bring it up here for the Bulls 
They lead by their biggest margin of the game. It's at 15 points. Shot by Levine, no good. Memphis has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Ball against Moran. Bain, the pass to Clark. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. First personal foul, second team foul. At the line for Memphis, Brandon Clark. One shot. No good on that one. Chicago's gone five of eight from outside the three-point line on this one. Oh, wasted no time on that one. Ball's got five points in the quarter. After failing to get going in the first quarter, he's looked much better here in the second. Aldama outside. Conchar, the pass to Aldama. And then Morant with the dunk! The pass, the catch, the slam. What a clean play. Man, absolutely jaw-dropping. Pass to Vucevic. Moran against Ball. Levine with a screen on Moran. The three from Ball. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. And we haven't seen them pound the ball inside and draw as much contact this quarter. Morant with it. He's picked up by Levine. And the basket by Aldama. Morant's got great understanding of the game. He can move like very few can in that pick and roll set. Ball looks over the floor. Picked by Vucevic. Caruso against Bain. The ball's knocked loose. Out of bounds. Bulls ball. As Chicago keeps possession. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Jackson is checked in. Number 13, James Jackson Jr. Clock at four. Levine. That one's good. Smart move by Levine. With how many teams defend him, he'll get his shot all day. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Spin. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. Well, that was clearly a foul. At the line for your Grizzlies, John Moran. Two shots. Free throw drops for Moran. And Moran drops them both. Chicago has gotten six of ten three pointers to drop. Outside Levine. Puts up a three. Here's Vucevic. And so it's Chicago. Now holding a 12-point lead at quarter's end. Building this lead up in large part because of how well they're shooting it. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Welcome to halftime. First things first, a look ahead at other games on the docket tonight. The Lakers playing in Los Angeles as they go up against the Nuggets. That one gets going 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific. Two elite squads, Ernie. One winner. 
I'm expecting big things. No doubt. Everyone in the league will be watching. Taking a look now at that first half, how about the strong play of Zach Levine? Zach is on the attacks. He has such a fluid game offensively. His development into an elite scorer has been unbelievable to watch. You have to like how Levine has dedicated himself on the defensive end as well. And that's a wrap on halftime. Thanks for watching as we send you back to BA to call the second half. With the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Boy, Zach Levine has been sensational. Yeah, he's kind of been the floor general for them tonight. A lot of assists for him. And it's a role we don't always see him in, but he's done a great job tonight getting the rest of his team involved. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. Jackson out there with John Conchar. And it's Clark in at the five down low. That's the five to begin the second half for Taylor Jenkins. Ball with it. Jackson in his pocket. And it's DeRozan missing. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. Ball against Moran. Moran. You oh! Job turning it loose. Someone throw that man some water. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Now ball. Here's DeRozan. And the dunk by DeRozan. He's undersized for a four, but his hops level the playing field. Outside Bain. Pass to Jackson. Outside Moran. Yes! And a nice assist from Jackson. Moran's got 16 points now. Still a little bit of a streak shooter. Moran's has been deadly accurate tonight. Man. On the wing to Rosen. Defended by Jackson. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Memphis has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Moran, the pass to Clark. Now Conchar. Pass to Jackson. And he drops it in from the low post. He's got 14. Uh, just like his pop, Jerry Jackson Jr. Yeah, look, this man, when he gets close to the hoop, it is pretty much automatic. You can't let that happen. Here's Levine. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Shooting for Chicago. Zach Levine. One shot. Free throw, good from Levine. The Grizzlies have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to Bain. Two minutes into the second half of play now. That's good from Jackson. On the assist by Bain. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Timeout time called time here. Out. Chicago decides to talk it over. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team.
moment here. Let's take a look at the shooting guards who have been most consistent from the line over the past month. You look at Kennard. He's been fantastic. Only one guy in the league better from the line. And, of course, Desmond Bain. They find themselves several spots behind. A knockdown free throw shooter. You can rely on that at the end of games. And two guard is a position where you'll find a number of great free throw shooters. These guys are the best of the best. I mean, you just got to look at their percentages, and I understand how much work these players have to put in the gym to be that reliable at the line. Ball coming, ball coming. Pass to Vucevic. Back to Caruso. Hey, hey, yo, right there. Ball against Moran. Outside Levine. Shot clock at six. Yes, sir, and it's Ball with the assist that time. Ball's got three assists in the game. How about the confidence that Levine has? Feels like he can take these shots whenever he wants. Now here's Clark. Pass to Moran. Fires the three. Chicago grabs the miss. Vucevic has got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's DeRozan. Ball outside. Jackson against DeRozan. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Making his presence known with that slot. Jackson Jr. understands when to go after blocks. Conchar outside. Payne with a screen on ball. Here's Moran. Ball with the rebound. And so it's ball with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. At one point, they led by 16. Wasted no time with that shot, but it's off the mark. The Grizzlies have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, Zach Levine talked about his path to stardom. He said, quote, I've always viewed myself as a top-tier player, and I put in the work. If you expect yourself to be here, it's something that you have to go out and show each and every day. I feel like I've done that. Brian, that confidence was there from day one. He's big time, Allie. Thanks for that. Well, Levine is fired up tonight and having no trouble finding points for his squad. Clark against Vucevic. Clark, the pass to Moran. Oh, Moran sinks the triple. He knocked one deep ball in the first half, but you start to get the feeling he's finding his rhythm out there now. Moran against Ball. Stolen by Jackson. Outside Morant. Outside Bain. Pass to Jackson. Outside Morant. Just five on the clock. Morant missing again. Chicago has gotten seven of 12 three-point attempts to fall. And DeRozan gets it to go. On the assist by Levine. Levine's got six assists here tonight. Time called here. The Grizzlies decide to talk it over. They're rushing things offensively, and their impatience has led to carelessness. It's that time of the game, everybody. Come on, and give away the ball for the Grizzlies. Wait a
Bears checked in for Chicago. Against ball. Back to Conchar. Payne with a screen on ball. Here's Moran. That's good. That's now his seventh made field goal in 15 tries. Hey, he's doing whatever he can right now to pump up his teammates. Ball against Moran. Ball outside. Pass to DeRozan. Here's Levine for three. The rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got his sixth rebound on the night. Jackson with a screen on ball. From deep, Morant. And the three-pointer goes. Morant's got 13 points here in the second half alone. The Bulls have gotten five of ten shots to go. Levine passes to Williams. DeRozan outside. There's a screen. Double team on DeRozan. Six to shoot. Williams from long range. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Moran. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Tillman's checked in for Clark. Aldama comes in for Jaron Jackson Jr. And it's Kennard in for Conchar. Here's DeRozan. He's got 22. Basket's good. DeRozan's got 24 points. That's his bread and butter, DeRozan. One of the great mid-range shooters in this game. Morant, the pass to Bain. Picked by Aldama. From downtown. Oh, my goodness. He'll go to the line with a chance at a four-point play. It, it's on Zach Levine. His first personal foul. First team foul. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, That's on the scoring so far for the Bulls. Their play. offense has been a well-oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. And also, attacking and transition has been working for them. I mean, I mean, credit them for running the break well and being opportunistic. The free throw drops for Bain. For Chicago, they've gotten six of their first 12 shots to drop in this third. Levine passes to Williams. Into the lane. The Grizzlies pull it in. The defense really made this an uphill battle, and he just couldn't get there. Ball against Moran. Pass to Aldama. Here's Kennard. Stolen by Ball. And a fast break now for the Bulls. And it's been interesting watching Ball find his place in the league. He's done a good job improving his game and focusing on the things he does best. Shooting for Chicago. One zero ball. At the line for two. He makes a first. Andre Drummond is checked in for Chicago. Craig comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And so Ball nails both of them. Here's Bain. He's got six. Kennard on the wing. To the middle. Tipped. 
Out of bounds as Memphis keeps possession. It's February. Let's see how things are shaping up in the East. You look at the Bulls. Boy, it's been a rough season for them. They're at the bottom of their conference. Here's Bain. An effective score for them, scoring around 21 and a half points a game. Clock at two. Kennard can't get it to go. Chicago leading. Outside Levine. Here's Ball. He's got seven. Shot is up. The Bulls with another miss. Just imagine if he was shooting better. The lead would be even bigger. Bane pass to Kennard. Up top, Moran. Shoots over Ball. Shots good by Moran. Moran's got 15 points in just the second half. With his ability to create or attack the rim, look, that jumper is always going to be available for Moran. The three from Ball. The Grizzlies pull it in. Aldama's got his fourth rebound in this one. Outside Moran. A minute and a half left in the third quarter. Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got six rebounds in the game. From 11 feet away, that's good from Craig. On the assist from Williams. Craig's got eight. 107 left in the third quarter. Morant with it. He's got 26. And he lobs it up to the rim. The vision, the ability to throw every type of pass. Morant's already reaching a lead level as a playmaker. Ball outside. Williams a screen on Moran. Ball passes to Williams. Six on the shot clock. Ball finds Williams. Kennard with the rebound. Might like a duel over there. Quality look inside. Pass to Moran. Tillman with a screen. Let's the three fly. No good. Ball outside. Down low. Outside for Levine. And here's Ball over Morant. And Ball gets it to go. Ball's got his third bucket of the night. Nice quick trigger from Ball right there. Good at sizing up the defense and knowing when to shoot off the pass. Zach Levine, he's been the guy making things happen for the Bulls. Totaling 26 points and showing no signs of letting up anytime soon. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's an unguardable pass, flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. And here's Ball, he'll bring it up for the Bulls. At one point, they led by 16. And so in the game for the Bulls, DeRozan and Miller in at the forward slots. Nasumu is out there with Lonzo Ball. And it's Drummond in at the five. Williams a screen on Smart. Puts it up from 12. Pass to Drummond. Clock is at three. There's Ball with a three. Drills it from deep. And the Bulls lead by 10. His first triple of the second half. Can he get it going? And the Grizzlies shooting 53%. Good efficiency on offense so far. Here's Jackson. Over Williams. 
Jackson can't get it to go. And the Bulls shooting it at 52%. DeRozan passes to Ball. Drummond with the ball. Pass to DeRozan. The fader. That one's in there. Drummond with the assist. Drummond's got three assists now in this one. And it's hard to believe that DeRozan's offense only continues to get stronger. And in this one, he's really showing us what he can do. Jackson, the screen. Here's Rose. Blocked! Ball right side. Here's the three. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Rose outside. There's the drive. Uses the glass that time. It's good. When the jumper is falling for Rose, there's not much you can do defensively. Ball against Smart. DeRozan right side. Up and over Kennard. And it's DeRozan missing. For Memphis, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Kennard passes to Smart. Tillman with a screen. Pass to Jackson. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. That's a costly error. Now let's see how they bounce back. Well, they don't have time to dwell on that. They just need to learn from their mistakes and move forward. Next play. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Baines checked in. Craig is checked in for Chicago. DeRozan against Bain. Right side, Craig. Back to DeRozan. DeRozan double teamed. Dasunmu for three. Sinks the tray. Dasunmu's gotten himself going here. His first point to the game on the deep ball. Memphis calls timeout. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. to Tillman. Here's Smart. Hounded by Ball. Now here's Jackson. That's good. And it's Smart with the assist. Smart's got his third assist of the night. The great point guards keep their eyes up on the court. Young players should watch how Smart goes about this man's business. And here is Williams. And again, it's 
Chicago with a three. Wow, <laughs> their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. Smart, looking around. Here's Jackson. Tries again. Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. From 12 feet, and Chicago again with a bucket. A smooth pull up by DeRozan. There's so much confidence behind his shot. Outside Bain. Pass to Jackson. DeRozan against Bain. Just five to shoot. Tillman with a screen. The three is up. Bain, no good. And lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Williams. Balanced play has given them the lead and also quieted this crowd. They've played fantastic ball, and you can feel the hush that's come over this crowd. Kennard outside. Payne with a screen on ball. The drive by Smart to stop the run, and it's Chicago with a board. Drummond's got rebound number 11. DeRozan against Kennard. Pass the ball. Now here's DeRozan. Now Williams. There's Ball with a three. That shot off. And here's Bain. Smart with the ball. Hounded by Ball. Ball against Smart. Pass to Tillman. Here's Jackson. The three is up. Connects from downtown. Jackson's got 21. Showing he can make this shot. Give Jackson Jr. room to take the triple. Oh, and he will. Timeout, timeout, timeout. called. The Bulls. Start it. in our New Balance Player of the Game, Zach Levine. This has been one of the most dominant performances I've ever seen. What's incredible is he has no off switch, just a tremendous motor, and he's making an impact on every single possession. And look at him. He think it's just another game. He is totally in control of his emotions. Ooh, he picked the right night to have a standout game. Looking to avoid their third straight loss, he made sure they're going to leave here with a win. Defended by Jackson. Vucevic, the pass to Ball. Now here's DeRozan. DeRozan double-teamed. 
Pass to Vucevic. This one for three. And it's Bain with the rebound. And it's Bain with the ball for the Memphis Grizzlies. It's an 18-point game. When this one's over, they'll be off to Charlotte as they take on the Hornets. It's a quick turnaround on the road. Just one game. Okay, I see John flexing a little bit of muscle, showing off that athletic ability. Okay. And here's Caruso. Outside Levine. Six to shoot. Ball outside. Shoots over Moran. And again, no good by Chicago. The Grizzlies have gone four for ten in the fourth. He takes it in. And then Moran with the jam. He'll put you on your heels and carry Moran slicing through the D. Pass to DeRozan. DeRozan, a screen on Bain. Outside Levine. Caruso outside. Back to Levine. Let's it go from deep. Knocks it down from distance. Levine's got 11 in the second half. And now with two three-pointers in each half, he's really doing his all to help his team out from deep. Moran against ball. Goes up at the strike. Oh, gritty two from Moran. For his sake, I hope they can come back. You hate to see the performance he's having be wasted in a loss. Pass to Caruso. Outside Levine. Ball with it. Back to Levine. Rolls around and rims out. The Grizzlies have gotten 6 of 12 shots to go here in this fourth quarter. Morant drawing the double team. Pass to Jackson. From deep. And a great assist by Morant as that one goes. Morant's got his sixth assist of the night. Now a timeout called by Chicago. They're in front by 12. 157 left to play in the fourth. to Levine from the arc. The shot won't fall. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Bain, the pass to Moran. 141 left in the fourth quarter. The three ball. That one's good from Bain on the assist by Moran. Moran's got assist number seven tonight. Chicago leading. ball. Here's DeRozan. Second shot opportunity. Caruso outside. 
Three-pointer. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. One fourteen left in the game. Kicks it out to Clark. Conchar outside. Payne with a screen on Levine. Conchar drives in. Shot clock at six. The three from Payne. And again, it's Memphis with a three. <laughs> this has been fun to watch. I mean, they've managed to go on a run just when it looked like this might be over. Vucevic, a screen on Jackson. Here's DeRozan. Good work there as it goes. DeRozan's got 30 points. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality, even with the game in total control. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throat now. Timeout called. Memphis. They're behind by eight. 46 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Forty-six seconds left to play in the fourth. Jackson can't get it to go. And Levine has got the ball here for the Chicago Bulls. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Pass to DeRozan. Here's Vucevic. Now ball. Conchar covers. And here's Caruso outside. Oh, he drains the three! And he'll go to the line for one more! It's on Desmond Bain. At the line for the Bulls, Alex Caruso, shooting one. And the free throw, no good. And just not enough time for them to get back in this game. Yeah, they got to be disappointed with this result. Rose, the pass to Tillman. Knocked loose. And the layup is good off the glass. Getting the ball inside, usually a pretty good recipe. Here's Caruso. So the Bulls win it. Boy, a nice win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone-cold silent. And that's exactly what you got to do. You have to try to take the crowd out of it. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks so much. Damar, a big-time road win for you guys. How were you able to get it done? 
we came out aggressive on both ends. We knew it was going to be tough. Um, it's a great team. We understood if we came in here and played with the intensity that we know how to play with, uh, we could walk out of here with a victory. You match that intensity. Congrats on the win. Thanks, Ali. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. And now we present the New Balance player of the game, Zach Levine.